a billion times heavier than our sun, and it shouldn't exist at all. The James Webb Telescope just found something that's breaking all our theories about the early universe. What if everything we thought we knew about the Big Bang was wrong? Scientists just discovered something that's turning our understanding of the universe upside down. The James Webb Space Telescope has spotted a monster black hole that existed way too early in cosmic history, and it's making researchers question everything about how our universe began. Let's start with what we thought we knew. For decades, scientists believed they had a pretty good handle on how the early universe developed. According to their models, everything started small, really small. After the Big Bang, the first stars and galaxies were supposed to be tiny, cosmic babies taking their first steps in a young universe. The James Webb Telescope had other plans. When it first powered up its incredible eyes, it spotted something bizarre. Six massive galaxies that shouldn't exist. These weren't baby galaxies. They were giants, each containing around 100 billion stars. And they showed up when the universe was just 500 to 700 million years old. That's like finding a teenager when you expected to see an infant. But here's where things get even stranger. Inside one of these impossible galaxies, Webb found something that's making scientists scratch their heads even harder. A supermassive black hole, more than a billion times heavier than our sun, existing in a galaxy that formed when the universe was only 770 million years old. Think about that for a second. We're talking about a cosmic monster that according to everything we know about physics, shouldn't have had time to grow that big. To understand why this is such a big deal, we need to look at how black holes normally grow. Usually they're like cosmic vacuum cleaners, slowly pulling in gas and dust from their surroundings. This material forms a bright, spinning disk around the black hole. Think of it like water spiraling down a drain. As this material falls in, it gets super hot and creates what we call a quasar, one of the brightest objects in the universe. But here's the catch. There's a speed limit to how fast black holes can eat. If they try to gobble up too much at once, the intense radiation actually pushes away the incoming material like cosmic indigestion. It's nature's way of saying, slow down, buddy. So finding a black hole this massive, this early in the universe's history, is like finding out someone ate an entire buffet in five minutes. It shouldn't be possible based on the rules we know. But what if we're looking at this all wrong? What if this isn't just about a really big black hole, but something much more fundamental about our universe itself? Some scientists are starting to wonder if maybe, just maybe, we're seeing evidence of something that existed before the Big Bang. Enter the Big Bounce theory. Instead of our universe starting from nothing, what if it's just one in an endless cycle of universes? Like a cosmic phoenix, each universe could be born from the ashes of the one before it. These massive early structures might not be impossible after all. They could be leftovers from a previous universe. Even more mind-bending is the idea that our entire universe might actually be inside a black hole from another universe. Think about that. Every star, every galaxy, everything we've ever known could be hiding behind the event horizon of a black hole in a much larger reality. When Webb looked at this ancient quasar up close, things got even weirder. The team at the Max Planck Institute found that despite being impossibly young, this cosmic monster looked shockingly normal. It had all the features of modern-day quasars, the same type of dust ring, the same feeding patterns. It's like finding a perfectly modern city in ancient ruins. This raises a huge question. If we're this wrong about how quickly black holes can form, what else might we be wrong about? The Big Bang Theory itself is starting to show some cracks. It can't explain everything we see, especially when we get down to the really tiny quantum scale. That's where theories like the Big Bounce come in. By treating space and time itself as something that can be quantized, each universe could give birth to the next, carrying forward seeds of structure that explain these impossibly massive early objects. But perhaps the most mind-blowing possibility is that we ourselves might be living inside a black hole from another universe. The matter that fell into that black hole could have bounced, creating our entire reality. And somewhere out there, beyond the boundaries of what we can see, new universes might be forming inside the black holes we observe. 
Subscribe now to join us on more journeys exploring the deepest mysteries of space.